One day, in retrospect, the years of struggle will strike you as the most beautiful. In the small matters trust the mind, in the large ones the heart. Unexpressed emotions will never die. They are buried alive and will come forth later in uglier ways. Words have a magical power. They can either bring the greatest happiness or the deepest despair. We choose not randomly each other. We meet only those who already exists in our subconscious. Most people do not really want freedom, because freedom involves responsibility, and most people are frightened of responsibility. Out of your vulnerabilities will come your strength. Knowledge is the intellectual manipulation of carefully verified observations. Human beings are funny. They long to be with the person they love but refuse to admit openly. Some are afraid to show even the slightest sign of affection because of fear. Fear that their feelings may not be recognized, or even worst, returned. But one thing about human beings puzzles me the most is their conscious effort to be connected with the object of their affection even if it kills them slowly within. We are what we are because we have been what we have been. All family life is organized around the most damaged person in it. Not to know the past is to be in bondage to it, while to remember, to know, is to be set free. A man who has been the indisputable favorite of his mother keeps for life the feeling of a conqueror. I have found little good about human beings. In my experience, most of them are trash. History is just new people making old mistakes. Maturity is the ability to postpone gratification. From error to error, one discovers the entire truth. The only person with whom you have to compare ourselves, is that you in the past. And the only person better you should be, this is who you are now. Psychiatry is the art of teaching people how to stand on their own feet while reclining on couches. Love in the form of longing and deprivation lowers the self-regard. Two hallmarks of a healthy life are the abilities to love and to work. Each requires imagination. Dreams are the royal road to the unconscious. Were we fully to understand the reasons for other people's behavior, it would all make sense. The mind is like an iceberg, it floats with one-seventh of its bulk above water. I became aware of my destiny, to belong to the critical minority as opposed to the unquestioning majority. The unconscious of one human being can react upon that of another without passing through the conscious. Where they love they do not desire and where they desire, they do not love. Without love we fall ill. When one does not have what one wants, one must want what one has. I prefer the company of animals more than the company of humans. Certainly, a wild animal is cruel. But to be merciless is the privilege of civilized humans. When inspiration does not come to me, I go halfway to meet it. To be completely honest with oneself is the very best effort a human being can make. When someone abuses me, I can defend myself but against praise I am defenseless. Look into the depths of your own soul and learn first to know yourself, then you will understand why this illness was bound to come upon you and perhaps you will thenceforth avoid falling ill. Where does a thought go when it's forgotten? Flowers are restful to look at. 
They have neither emotions nor conflicts. It is not attention that the child is seeking, but love. Dreams are often most profound when they seem the most crazy. That which we can't remember, we will repeat. Dogs love their friends and bite their enemies, quite unlike people, who are incapable of pure love and always have to mix love and hate. Being entirely honest with oneself is a good exercise. A father's death is the most important event, the more heartbreaking and poignant loss in a man's life. How bold one gets when one is sure of being loved. The madman is a dreamer awake. I've been a fortunate man in life, nothing has come easily. In the depths of my heart, I can't help being convinced that my dear fellow men, with a few exceptions, are worthless. The news that reaches your consciousness is incomplete and often not to be relied on. Turn your eyes inward, look into your own depths, learn first to know yourself. All giving is asking, and all asking is an asking for love. It is impossible to escape the impression that people commonly use false standards of measurement, that they seek power, success, and wealth for themselves and admire them in others, and that they underestimate what is of true value in life. Men are more moral than they think and far more immoral than they can imagine. A strong egoism is a protection. America is the most grandiose experiment the world has seen, but I am afraid, it is not going to be a success. I had the greatest respect for the authorities of my day until I studied things for myself and came to my own conclusions. Humor is a means of obtaining pleasure despite the distressing effects that interface with it. If you want to endure life, prepare yourself for death. The creative writer does the same as the child at play, he creates a world of fantasy which he takes very seriously. My love is something valuable to me which I ought not to throw away without reflection. Illusions commend themselves to us because they save us pain and allow us to enjoy pleasure instead. Intolerance of groups is often, strangely enough, exhibited more strongly against small differences than against fundamental ones. Men are strong so long as they represent a strong idea, they become powerless when they oppose it. Beauty has no obvious use, nor is there any clear cultural necessity for it. Yet civilization could not do without it. Dreams are constructed from the residue of yesterday. I cannot think of any need in childhood as strong as the need for a father's protection. One is very crazy when in love. The liberty of the individual is no gift of civilization. It was greatest before there was any civilization. We must love or we grow ill. I no longer count as one of my merits that I always tell the truth as much as possible, it has become my metier. So, in every individual the two trends, one towards personal happiness and the other unity with the rest of humanity, must contend with each other. I cannot face with comfort the idea of life without work, work and the free play of the imagination are for me the same thing, I take no pleasure in anything else. Which quote did you like the most? Share your opinion in the comments below. Subscribe and don't miss out the chance to see the next video.